This day, the 1st of September 2023, is a milestone for the Boda Boda industry, thriving very well in Kenya from urban to rural Kenya. This is a step towards carbon emission control and profitability in the industry. It is a stone that kills two birds at a go. Today is the day His Excellency the President, Dr. William Samoei Ruto, will be here in Mombasa for the launching of the electrically operated motorcycles. Remember, it has been in his bottom-up agenda. It has attracted the stakeholders from different sectors of the economy. These include the bank, like KCB, companies like Safaricom, energy sector, where we have Kenya Power, business, personalities, and the list is endless. Looking at the whole arrangement, it is very clear that along the process, so many opportunities will be created while growing banks, communication companies, and increased profitability while hitting our main target of saving the globe from carbon emission is situation at the moment. Yes, indeed, that is the situation at the moment. The Kenya Kwanza government has just blown the reality in the face of Kenyans. They are walking the talk. As they said, electrical motorcycles will be provided and the impact of the border border business will be tremendous in terms of profitability, efficiency and compliance. Another thing on record is that Protocols these of, motorbikes have yeah, no gas emissions. And the, this machine is basically a component of two connected parts, the battery and the motor. The motor is fastened around the rear tire of the machine. The battery runs the, the motorcycle for 80 kilometers uh, which attracts around 3,000 shillings to the border, border owner. After spending 245 shillings on charging the battery. So comparing the terms cost of pay charging the battery, which is uh, 245 shillings, uh, to what the border border will get back as his, uh, as his sales. Goes a long way to say that he has made a uh, a very a reasonable profit of about 2,500 shillings, which is very good. All the batteries have labels to identify the last owners of those batteries. And this will help the, comp the company managing the business, the Spiro Company Limited, managing the business to have an easy time in handling the batteries and the and the owners of those vehicles, of those uh, motorcycles. The batteries are made in such a way that they have uh, two ports, one for, the, for charging the battery and the other one for uh, powering the motorcycle. When you talk of stocks, already the bikes are here in hundreds, in hundreds for sure, waiting for the buyers to come in and own the facility of profit-making and efficiency accepted by the global world. Already as we talk, the charging stations in Mombasa are in the tune of 20 to 25, making it quite possible and very easy to handle the machine within the count of Mombasa. Uh, plans are underway to spread these uh, stations to the outskirts Talk of manpower, the Spyro company handling the business is already, has already employed young men and women to do the job. And, and with the figure, and the vigor and seriousness in them, I know this job is going to be done. Now, now, let's appreciate the flow of uh, ambassadors of uh, this. Yes. Ambassadors of this initiative, which is going to be a milestone in the economy of this country. Present here will be government officials, 
It's very senior government officials, including the president himself, the governor of this country, and various other senior people in the government. Ministers allied to this arrangement and stakeholders, people who are interested in the interested in the arrangements, taking opportunities into their hands. There are several business opportunities that are going to be stricken around this uh, around this border border issue. So, so and this is the presidential motorcade, which is just arriving. So, let's brace ourselves for the speeches that will be made on this occasion by the various dignitaries that are around. You can see the flock of people flowing into the halls. Nisha ya kwamba wawekezaji wa kimataifa wanaendelea kuonyesha imani yao na uchumi ya Kenya na serikali yako mshimua rais. Bari na hao mshimua rais, tuko na ushirikiano ambao umuetuwezesha kuwa hapa na makampuni mawili ya Kenya hapa Kenya ya kwanza ikiwa ni uh, shirika ya Mpesa Safaricom ambao ni maarufu duniani yote na ya pili ni banki ya KCB so kabla niendelee niruhusu kwa dakika moja niite mnenaji kutoka kwa upande wa Mpesa na diwatuonyeshe vile wata support hii mradi kuenda mbele na karibu sana George Your Excellency, uh, Dr. William Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, due to time, you will allow me to ride on all protocols. I'm Jambo. Kwa kweli sita ongea kwa Kiswahili, lakini ni mesomea hapa Kenya, na elewa Kiswahili, lakini ni likuwa ni meandika vito kezo zangu kwa lugia kingereza. Nisao, this is not just an exciting launch, Your Excellency, and the team here but it's actually a great milestone. Uh, several organizations have come together to combat the challenges of climate change by use of technology and innovation. We've not only done that, and you'll hear how there are so many firsts here, but we've also addressed affordability and accessibility. And I'd like to thank our partners, both Spiral as well as KCB, because we can have such great initiatives but if they are not accessible to the Mwananchi, to the hustler, then it means nothing. If they are not affordable, then it still does not mean anything. But here we brought technology together, the power of MPESA, the power of financial uh, services, and the power of innovation to address this. When we think about uh, what we've been able to achieve here today, and indeed, uh, I know I'm not dressed in a blue reflector, but in a blue kamanyini, it's extremely exciting because we're using technology to empower our people, to lift households, but also to say that it is possible to look at a challenge and not just say, look at the impossibilities, but actually see possibilities. It's in line with not just keeping uh, to our plans around SDGs, but really combating this problem and challenge of climate change head on and believing that we can address these solutions in this country. Last but not least, this is our first, and uh, I'll be announcing this because CS reminded me that nine years ago, you were the first to go to our late CEO Bob to challenge him that we need to have standing orders on M-Pesa. This is the first initiative where you will have standing orders on a mobile platform. The first in the world, not just the first in Africa. So very happy that CS has been part of that. And we will not just use it for this project, Your Excellency. We are going to, we were talking with CS, we are going to look at it across, even in health and other areas. Because we understand this economy, it's a Kadogo economy. We need to break things down to increase accessibility and affordability. And so, somebody may not be able to have 500 shillings at a go to pay for NHIF, but if we can break it down to 17 bob a day, then they can be able to access. Your Excellency, I'm here and it would not be right for me to introduce the team from Safaricom, the young people, 
who've worked on this great innovation, allow me to ask you to stand up kindly, the team from Safaricom. These are young developers, young product engineers. Your Excellency, you know we've worked with you on Hustler, we've worked on e-fertilizer. The other time I told you that the young people of this country, through the power of technology, are going to take Kenya to the next level. As Africans, you may be seated. Many times we say and see that we, are, we have many problems and challenges. But I see our problems and challenges as opportunities to actually use innovation, to use technology, to use our brains, to use creativity, to step up to the next level. This type of solution proves the power of innovation in Africa. It proves that we can actually do it. That when we think about all the various challenges we face, we should think about how we can address them. As Safaricom, we are committed to not just work with these partners, but with any partners to address these challenges. In closing, I'd like to say that we will not be remembered for the problems we identified, but we will be remembered for the problems we solved. Thank you. Ni record ingine ya Kenya hii. Na sababu ameongea kizungu mingi wacha nilizewa watu wangu. Kwa ba hii sali ngona ni kusema, tukikubaliana hile pesa unakatwa. Sio razima uponyeze diyo pesa itukuliwe. Hata kama umelala, ina jiodoa yenyewe maimreo. Asubuhi ya pili unamuka na uluza pesa hili enda wapi. Noo, ni hile kota yangu. Si hapo ni poa jameni. Si hapo ni poa. Kwa kabla muende kujibijari, pesa kwasa ya bona bona yu doke, yu 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 lewe niwe. Na mwashimu wa rais, nishukuru watu wa mpesa, ni mwasukuma sana. Miaka tisa, tulipo anza huu mjadala with the late Bob Kolimu. That our people, they may have the money or may not have the money. But let us do the remembering of their behalf. Ata kama wakisa hao, tukubuke. Kidabu cha piri cha petero. Mustari sura ya kwasa. Mustari ya kuminambiri, inasema, wakumbuse hata kama wanajua. Na hii itali mwona, diojea wakumbuse. Hata kama wanajua, kutumia teknolojia, tutafuata hiyo mustari ya bibiria, na hatu wakumbuse hata wakati wanajua, na hata wakati wanajua. Mwishimwa rais, umunadi pia umuwezeshwa na banki ya bawe mesoitia sana. Banki ya KCB. Lakini kabla ni muite eh, mkulugezi mkua banki ya KCB. Sijui kuna wa kampuni ngini hapa, pia wanatoa mkoko kwa yao watu wa boda boda, kwa silimia sitini, na lajua wako hapa. Sijui kama wataka kujitetea watu wa pande uwa ama. Sijui wale watu wa watu wako hapa. Muzizeme siku wapea na vazi. Lakini kama hapa hako, wacha nchukue na vazi kumuharika mkulugezi mkua shirika na KCB Kenya, Anastasia Kimtai, Atuambie ni kipi ya nikileka. Your Excellency, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, all the Cabinet Secretaries present, Governor Mombasa County, National and County Government Official, Project Partners, Ladies, and gentlemen, salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Thank you so, so much, Your Excellency. It gives us a great honor as KCD Bank to partner with you, and more specifically, a local bank that believes in your vision, and we work together even when other people could not see the light. And our commitment this evening, Your Excellency, is that we will continue working together to transform the lives of the people at the bottom of the pyramid. Your Excellency, when you invited us to be on the table for fertilizer conversation, we came to the table, nobody believed. If you now go to the western part of the country, there is Bamba Harvest. When you invited us for the Asla Fund, nobody believed. As KCB, we use our resources to enable that. Your Excellency, how about the G2G? 
oil. We came to the table, and that's a clear demonstration that there is a bank that believes in your ambition, and we will work together. Your Excellency, I know when I go back to the office, my colleagues will ask, really, at that cost? But I will allow you to announce that. But we are also committed to make sure that the border borders who are going to seek credit, that we will make it affordable for them. Because we believe in our people and we believe in your vision. This initiative that you are launching this evening doesn't talk only about transport from one point to another, but talk about the climate that you really challenge all of us. And we are in it to work together. Finally, Your Excellency, through the KCB Foundation, we commit to skill our border borders, our brothers and sisters, in terms of skills so that we can ensure that as they ride these border borders, it's safe and secure because we only have one country, Kenya, and we need you to be alive so that collectively we can live together. Finally, Your Excellency, as we move forward, let us remember that the journey towards a greener future requires collective effort. Together, we can make a difference and create a sustainable world for the future generations. Thank you so much. God bless Kenya. God bless you all. Asante Nisani. The Excellency, Madam Anastasia has talked about safety and security. Me, what I know best is how to give these people a border border that is cheap, that is affordable, and we can charge. Maneno ya safety, I'm not very good at. Lagini, moto unazimwa pahali mewaka, so unitamualika sasa mwenye safety hii umesikia, waziri wa uchukuzi kujuba mwuru kwa mene, akuja tuwelewe hayo. climate change. Mwishimu wa Rais Kujao, wewe umepanga pamoja na marais wengine kutoka Afrika kwa mba tutakuwa na mkutano mkubwa sana ya kwa amasisha watu na kusungumzia mambo ya climate change. Jia moja ya kukabiliana na climate change ni kwa kutisha ya kwa mba tuko na magari na boda boda ambayo ni astima ama inatumia nguvu za umemi. Na ukiona hile kazi mefanyika hapa, Ningependa kwanza kumpongeza ndugu yangu Moses Kuria na idara yake ya uwekeze, uwekezaji, uwekezaji pamoja na wale wote wameshirikiana na idara hiyo kuhakikisha tumepata hizi pikipiki. Mheshimiwa Rais Wizara yetu ni ya boda boda. In fact, at the bottom of the of the Ministry of Transport a boda boda. Na tumekuwa wewe tume shirikiana na wewe kwa hafla nyingi ya boda boda kitafutia njia ya bima mambo yenye nahusiana na jinsi ambavyo tutaweza kuhakikisha kwamba kuna uh, safety lakini zaidi ni kusema kwamba katika wizara tume yetu ni kufanya policy kazi ya Moses Kuria ni kutafuta investors policy ambayo tumeweka your, your excellency to legazette a task force two weeks ago ambayo kazi yake hiyo task force sio ya wizara yetu peke yake Kuna watu wanatoka wizara zote pamoja na county government. Kazi yao ni kuhakikisha kwamba tume hakikisha tume update ile inaitwa national transport policy ndio tupate ile inaitwa e-mobility policy. Hiyo policy sasa ndio itaelekeza sisi kuona ni njia gani tutaweza kuenda kwa mambo ya charging kama vile tunajua uh, swapping stations kwa mambo ya tutahakikisha aje ya kwamba yale mapikipiki ambayo sasa hivi yanatumia petroli ita penduliwa na mna gani fikie yale ambayo yanatumia umeme 
na hao wakina boda boda watasaidiwa aje wakati tunasafiri kwa safari hiyo kutoka boda boda ile inatumia petroli kufikia ile ya umeme mheshimiwa rais hiyo task force iko na siku 1 uh, 180 days and we will have a new law and a new policy which will guide e mobility and perhaps your excellency i have no doubt in my mind we will be the first country in the continent of africa and in most developing countries to have the e mobility policy and e mobility law and we will be the leading nation because you have uh, positioned yourself and our country to be the leading nation on matters e mobility hiyo ni kusema kwamba tutakuwa nchi ya kwanza kuwa na sheria na kuwa pia na ile policy ya kuhakikisha mambo ya immobility. Mheshimiwa Rais, ingawa tunasherekea sana hivi na ninataka kupongeza kampuni ya Spiro, Mheshimiwa Rais nataka kupongeza KCB Bank, sio tu kwamba KCB wapo kwa mambo ya boda boda lakini wanatusaidia pia sisi kwa mambo ya ujenzi wa barabara na tunashirikiana pamoja na ni furaha kwamba kuna mabengi kama hawa na waagezaji wengine wa taifa letu ambao wanaweka msingi kwa mambo ya wakenya. Mheshimiwa Rais, sio safari kwa peke yake imefanya hii kazi ya hapa. Ningetaka kujulisha pia kwamba sisi na safari kwa tunafanya pamoja kusaidiana. Ile nilitangaza hivi majuzi kwamba tunataka uh, dashboard cameras and vehicle telematics. Your Excellency, we are waiting uh, the team from Safaricom are helping us to establish uh, a ways of monitoring our vehicles and we have agreed with Safaricom that we will start with our high school buses to make sure that we give a model uh, vehicles that are going to be able to uh, uh, be monitored by the government but also by the schools themselves to know how the, the cars are going to be driven and how our children are being carried. But even when we speak about these issues, Your Excellency, tunasema mambo mazuri lakini niko na habari mbaya. Mheshimiwa Rais, tunapoteza watu elfu tano ambao umejulikana, watu elfu tano kwa maajali ya barabara. Na katika hawa watu elfu tano tunapoteza kwa ajali ya barabara, watu elfu tatu wanachangiwa na sekta ya boda boda. Kwa sababu tumepigana na road accidents kwa miaka mingi wale ambao wako na magari wale wako na matatu wamezingatia zile kanuni ambazo tumeweka na ile ajali za barabara zimepungua lakini kwa sekta ya boda boda tunapoteza wana boda boda kila mwaka 1500 na wao ni vijana ambao wako chini ya miaka 35 wale tungetekembea kuguza uchumi wetu kwenda mbele wale ambao wanabebwa kwa hiyo boda boda ambaye pia tunawapoteza ni elfu moja. Nambari inafika au ndio wanaitwa billion passengers. Tunapoteza 1000. Inafika 2500. Alafu watu ambao ni pedestrians wanatembea kwa barabara ambao wanagongwa na boda boda ni 500. Yote inakuwa 3000 people that we lose every year because of road accidents caused by a boda boda sector. This is not good news. If you go to almost every hospital in the country yenye iko na ward there is a special ward now being called boda boda ward yenye iko na watu wenye wameumia wenye wameumia kwa ajali ya barabara hata kama tunasherekea mambo yenye tunasherekea hapa ningependa kuwaomba katika sekta hii ya boda boda na washukuru Spyro kwa sababu nilionyeshwa ile motorbike yao iko na speed governor na pia iko na eh, teknolojia ya kuonyesha ule mtu wa boda boda nakimbia kwa mbio gani na hapo upande gani Mheshimiwa Rais ile sekta hii yenye tukitaka kupunguza ajali za barabara na kuokoa taifa letu uchumi yetu na maisha ya watu wetu mimi nawaomba ninyi ndugu zangu ambao uko mwa boda boda sekta wale wanakufa zaidi kwa hii ajali za barabara ya boda boda sio hata wananchi wengine ni nyinyi wenyewe na ningependa tuzingatie kanuni za barabara za kuhakikisha kwamba tuko na safety ndio sisi tuweze tukatembea na tupate nchi ambayo iko health tuki celebrate mambo ya boda boda sector tuna celebrate ile pesa inakuja kwa familia sio ile pesa inaenda kuondoa familia nzima kutoka kwa, uh, kwa ajali za barabara tunajua kwamba kuna wingi wako na maajali mbaya mbaya 
na inafanya mafamilia wauze kila kitu yenye wako nayo ili waweze wakatibu wagonjwa I really feel this is a very terrible thing and I want all of us to join us Mheshimiwa Governor tumekubaliana kwa wizara yangu ya kwamba tutaleta mswada yenye tutajadiliana sisi pamoja na county governments we would like the regulation of transport in the border border sector because it's the last mile form of transport to be transferred to county government with the support of national government so that the problem is sorted at a local level by county governments and we are ready even to find a special grant and conditional grant that will go specifically to that function to be managed by county government so that we can get better results in so far as dealing with accidents in the border border sector is concerned hiyo ndio uchumbe wangu wa siku ya leo bali na haya nataka nishukuru ndugu yangu waziri Moses Kuria ilifaa sana mheshimiwa rais mtu kuwa waziri ambaye ni mwanabiashara kama huyu Moses na afuati sana kanuni za wizara anafuata zaidi kanuni za biashara ndio unaona tunaweza kusonga mbele vile tunasonga nashukuru sana na Mungu awabariki asante sana Mheshimiwa rais hapo kwa usalama niongeze kidogo niseme wale wezi wamezoea kunyang'anya wana boda boda wetu boda boda zao hizi za rais William Ruto la, za stima ukijaribu kuiba apige risala jameni tunaizima tukua control room unaichukua boda boda yako unakuja tunakwambia mambo ni mangapi kwa hii fursa kumwalika najua muda umetubana lakini nilizipomwalika dadangu Aisha Jumo hapa katika hilo baraza la mawaziri ile kisirani nitapata waziri Aisha Jumo karibu Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri yetu ya Kenya Daktari William Ruto Gavana wa Mombasa Speaker wa Seneti mawaziri wenzangu uh, partners wetu ambao wamefika mahali hapa wana shughuli na wageni wetu wa heshima wa leo wana boda boda hamjambo hamjambo kwa sababu ya muda umeenda sana mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni mpongeze rais wa jamhuri yetu ya Kenya na nimwambie rais wetu usifanye kazi kutafuta kupewa sifa wewe fanya kazi sifa zitakufuata hata wakikataa sifa zitakufuata nataka niseme leo ndio ile siku kama wengi walivyokuwa wakisubiri wakisema haitawezekana leo imewezekana Mheshimiwa Rais mimi furaha yangu kubwa ni kwamba pia sisi hatujaacha nyuma tukiangalia hizi reflectors za blue t-shirts and caps sisi pia tuko na mimi nataka niwapongeze sana hakuna kitu ambacho hakiwezekani kitu ambacho hakiwezekani ni kile hakijafanya kwa hivyo mimi nataka niseme rais unatenda yale yote ulioahidi na mimi nafurahi kuwa associate na serikali yako na pia ninafurahi kwa sababu ahadi zote ambazo umetimiza zimeendelea amini ulizoahidi zimeendelea kutimizwa na hii ya pikipiki ya umeme tulikuwa tunaingoja kwa hamu kama nilivyosema ambalo haliwezekani ni lile ambalo halijafanya hizi pikipiki zimeendana kabisa na ile shughuli kubwa ambayo rais wetu kuanzia siku ya Jumatatu atazindua rasmi ile conference ama summit ya tabia nchi climate change kwa hivyo mimi nataka nimshukuru rais na nimuombe Mungu akupe nguvu na pia vile vile nataka niwaambie hivi mgema akisifiwa mgema akisifiwa 
haya yanayofanywa hapa ni mazuri sana kwa hivyo mimi nataka sisi tuwe kielelezo katika jamii tuhakikishe ya kwamba hizi boda boda zimeleta natija zimeleta manufaa zaidi kuliko madhara asanteni sana Mheshimiwa Rais Mulkomen upande mmoja Aisha Juma upande mwingine Moses Kule upande mwingine Sasa zote ni ile tunaita damu moto Na kwa baraza la mawaziri kuna mtu mmoja ambaye anatukoesha tukienda speed sana Waziri Salim Buria karibu sana <laughs> Mheshimiwa Rais Daktari William Samuel Ruto mawaziri wenzangu gavana na mheshimiwa speaker makatibu na viongozi wanaboda boda na wananchi wote asalamu alaikum Bwana Yesu asifiwe uh, Mheshimiwa Rais niruhusu tu kwa dakika moja niwasimamishe viongozi wa kwani kwa tabaka zote wale wale ma chairman ma director eh, CAS tafadhali tu msimame tu watambue eh, watu wetu wa chama kila mtu asimame bas hawa ndio viongozi ambao wamehudhuria kutoka hapa wana biashara hapa asante sana asante tunaweza keti Uh, Mheshimiwa Rais kwanza mimi nataka kuchukua tu nafasi fupi kusema karibu pwani na pongezi kwa hatua hii ya ubunifu kwa mambo ya bodaboda boda, na sekta nyingi ambazo umeanzisha kwa muda mfupi wakati ulianzisha hasla fund watu walifikiri pengine you are magic ama uhodari wako uliishia hapo lakini kumbe mkoba bado ulikuwa na mambo mengi. Leo tarehe moja mwezi wa sita e, wa tisa umetuonyesha maajabu ya boda boda ya stima. Na tunajua katika program yako ya maendeleo bado kuna mengi. Yetu sisi muhimu ni kukuunga mkono kushirikiana na wewe ili kuweza kufanikisha kila jambo. Sisi katika Wizara ya Uchumi Samawati na mambo ya baharini na madini interest yetu kubwa katika mradi huu tunataka kujua madini yale yanatengezewa ile betri. Ndiyo tufanye ile value addition and mineral processing hiyo madini tuhakikishe next time hiyo betri inatengenezewa hapa Kenya. Kwa hivyo sisi mheshimiwa Moses Kuria tutarudi tufanye uchunguzi. Tujue hii betri ni ya lithium, hii betri ni ya nickel, inatumia graphite so that next time we are doing our mineral value addition and processing policy we make sure that that mineral is developed here and we are able to do this in this country kwa hiyo machache mimi nataka pia kusisitiza mheshimiwa rais hivi majuzi kumekuwa na kelele nyingi kwa sababu kuna watu wengi ambao hawataki ufanikiwe kwa huu muda mfupi mheshimiwa rais sisi tuko nyuma yako tunakuunga mkono wa Kenya wanakuunga mkono funga masikio usisikize kelele ile mambo ambayo umepanga kwa mpango wa Kenya kwanza tufanye kazi tuinue uchumi kwa wa Kenya wote kwa hayo machache asanteni na Mungu awabariki asante sana Mheshimiwa nikimalizia kwa rais sasa tutamwalika a uh, speaker wa bunge ya seneti ndio amweza kumwalika governor yaza kutumalizia hiyo mkondo na gavana atakualika lakini niseme mheshimiwa rais hii mambo yote Kenya inawezekana kwa sababu ya kitu kimoja kwa muda mrefu sasa tuko na rais ambaye anasikiza 
na ambaye anatimiza ile anaahidi yangu ni kuzisitiza hapo waziri mguri amesema hawa watu kazana na wao macho kwa macho kwa mundu humu hawa makatel ambao wamezoea vijana wetu wabaki kwa umaskiri miaka yote ya kwanza takuwajia wewe ya pili takuwajia wewe ya tatu ukizifikana yone kando asante sana mungu kwa Mgozi wenzangu wa shikadao wa hafla ya lewa hamjamu Raisu wetu baada kusikiliza wale wenzangu wa nozungumza awali Kusema kwili mambu ni matatu La kwanza accessibility La pili affordability Na la tatu sustainability Hawa ndo ni matatu ambao tunapata kutoka kwa mradi huu. Your Excellency, one of the core pillars of the bottom up economic transformation agenda. Better. Better. One of the core pillars is the creation of the wealth around medium, small and micro enterprises. Na katika wavu hilo ndio tutapata hawa vijana wetu. Wana bidii kubwa, wana kiu ya kusukuma uchumi lakini changamoto kubwa ni kwamba they don't have affordable credit. Today with KCB they can be able to afford this machine. They are unable to access any credit facility. Walikuwa wakienda kwa banks, banks wana wangalia kwa macho ambayo si ya huruma. They would end up in Shylox. Na sisi tunajua riba ya Shylox iko aina gani. But today these young men and women can access credit. Thanks to KCB. Your Excellency, one of the things that we were discussing with uh, Shangazi, my aunt, Asha, Panik, Gwa, Inje, is how sustainable is this point. Na baada ya wale wenye kampuni kutueleza vile vigezo mba meweka ni kwamba this particular product is sustainable and it take them from today many years down the line and therefore vile vitu vitatu accessibility tick affordability tick sustainability tick your excellency we can only thank you and i want to assure you nikimalizia these young men and women is that aware and they know one American singer, very famous artist in America, and I to a Drake. Simna mjua? Drake aliimba njimu moja. Inasema kwamba, we started from the bottom, now we are here. I can assure you, Your Excellency, at the end of your presidency, in fact not by the end of your presidency, in the course of your presidency, these young men and women will be singing that song. Because of this kind of intervention. May God bless you. Na mchukwe ile usia waziri murukumen amuapatia. Mutafika mbae. Kwa wemengo machache, mwenye zimungu wa kibari. Governor Karim. Asanteni. Salamu alaikum. Mungu yumwema. Your Excellency ukisikia fujo wa jamando walinifanya mini yu jamando. Nanta nitaongea mambo yao ni kimalisi lakini kwa sasa hata mimi pia unajua sasa hivi Kenya tunaenda mambo matatu matatu peke yake hata mimi pia yangu si mengi ni matatu peke yake ya kwanza kwanza mimi nilikunungunezea your excess nikakwambia ya kuwa hii mambo ya e mobility ni lazima kuwe na national legislation sheria na mimi nashukuru 
nimesikia waziri Murkume he has taken the right step lazima kuwe na sheria ili iweze kuwachunga wale wenye fanya biashara na pia vile vile kuwachunga hao ngwani kama serikali ya county sisi tuko tayari kuweza kuwasaidia kama kuna sehemu mnahitaji mambo ya charging stations na exchange stations tuweze kuhakikisha ya kuziweko kwa kwa win pia vile vile your excellence ama bwana ili jambo limeweza kuanzishwa hapa hapa Mombasa itakuwa ni jambo la aibu kama na sisi kama county 001 tutakuwa sio wenye kuendeleza mstari huu kwa hivyo kama serikali ya county ya Mombasa kwanza department ya public health department ya inspectorate na department ya revenue pikipiki zao sasa tunatoa amri zitakuwa ni electric ili tuweze kwenda sambamba na dunia nzima. Pili your excellency. Ambo bwana na mimi pia sijui ni sema kwa na lakini pia nikisema ni si vibaya sio. Ambo bwana your excellency they made me who I am and I am forever in debt. Mimi nataka safari hii mlinipandisha pikipiki zile za petroli na pikipiki zile nyingine. Kwa hivyo mimi najitolea sub county hapa katika Mombasa ziko sita. Kuna sako sita. Kila sako Kila sako yo excellency tunapeana pikipiki hizi za electric mbili mbili waweze kujianzisha Nadhani nimefika matatu sio? Nikiongezea hapo itakuwa nimezidi hata rais. Kwa hivyo mimi your excellency ni kutoa shukrani za that. Na najua tuna mazungumzo ambayo kwamba tunazungumza, tunazungumza na waziri sitotaka tuyataje sana kwa hapa. Lakini kilio changu na msimamo wangu kama gavana wa uongo na hao. Ya kuwa situ kuwa gavana yule ambaye kwamba kama nazunguka na wewe sana kila unapokwenda unasikia kwa tunaomba hiki tunaomba hiki tunaomba hiki mimi nitakuwa ni gavana ambaye kwamba nataka kuacha rasilimali ya wana Mombasa iweze kuwafaa watu wa Mombasa ile tutaomba tuombe tuweze kusimama kwa miguu yetu tutambaye tusimame na mimi nina imani your excellence yale mazungumzo tutataka tuyazungumze kwa sasa lakini iko siku uwanja huu huu your excellence hapa 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 mimi niliapishwa hapa na ah mabwana walikuja kwa wingi katika kiapo changu panapo majaliwa ifika mwaka 2027 panapo majaliwa ya Mungu ni mingi na nikisema ya Mungu ni mingi kuna na afya na uhai lakini kama kura niko nazo Tutarejea hapa hapa kuweza kuapishwa tena lakini mimi nataka baada ya miaka kumi your excellence ni waachie watu wa Mombasa rasilimali yenye kungarangara asanteni sana na mubarikiwe thank you very much your excellence kuweza kuzungumza na wana Mombasa na wa Kenya kwa jumla na kila siku kuna mpya sijui leo itakuwa gani thank you very much Asanteni sana tafadhali tunaweza kuketi chini. Asante sana. Eh songori wewe wewe lakini atulize kidogo. Eh ndugu viongozi wote wenzangu watu wa Mombasa wangwana wa Boda hamjamu. Um, ni furaha yangu kubwa sana kurudi hapa tena Mombasa. Um, mnajua mambo ni magapi? Between 
between the 4th and the 6th of September 2023, our country will have the honor of co-hosting the Africa Climate Summit with the Africa Union Secretariat at our capital in Nairobi. During this event, African and international leadership will gather to engage in robust deliberations with a view to making significant progress in formulating just, effective, and inclusive policies to combat climate change, thereby abating a global warming apocalypse. At the summit, we shall revisit various international instruments and commitments at the multilateral level in order to reach an understanding on the best ways of running together under a new compact aimed at achieving effective climate action on an ambitious global scale through a combination of social justice, economic transformation, and unprecedented investment in a just transition to net zero by formulating strategies for effective action and inspiring environmental and climate and climate action leadership. Without a doubt, the time has come for Africa to add a firm, clear voice to the global climate change discourse and to provide leadership in effective climate action as well as a new clean green industrial revolution which delivers sustained economic transformation and shared prosperity for humanity while facilitating the rehabilitation, recovery, resurgence, and resilience of the Earth's capacity to sustain life in its fullest diversity. As I have said before, Africa is stepping forward as a united continent and one people to lead the next phase of global development by offering its unique endowments of abundance in natural resources, youthful and highly skilled human capital, and peerless green energy potential in the service of a new industrial age. We are the young green continent of the future, and the future is here with us. Next week, we announce to the whole world an agenda for ensuring that humanity thrives in this future while securing the Earth's ability to support biodiversity. The privilege to host this momentous event underscores Kenya's well-established global green growth and climate action leadership credentials and decade-long endeavor as a champion of environmental conservation and the protection of biodiversity. Since the first decade of our independence, we have been a consistent champion of the global environmental agenda, and today, environmental diplomacy remains a critical pillar of our foreign policy. Nairobi is the host city of the only United Nations headquarters in the Global South. The United Nations Environmental Program, the focal point of multilateral environmental policy agenda, has its home in Kenya. Kenya's leadership of the global environment sector is not accidental. Neither is it. Thank you. Let me check that again. Kenya's leadership of the global environmental sector is not accidental. Neither is it restricted to the international arena. The people of Kenya 
are united in categorically committing in their determination to respect and sustain the environment for present and future generations. The constitutional commitment in Article 1691A mandates the state to ensure the sustainable exploitation, utilization, and management of the environment, while under Article 1691G, the state is further mandated to eliminate processes and activities that are likely to endanger the environment. Further, our National Economic Development Blueprint Vision 2030 sets out Kenya's ambition to transform into a highly industrialized middle-income country providing a high quality of life for all its citizens by 2030 in a clean and secure environment. In short, a strong commitment to the environmental sustainability as an essential feature of Kenya's national identity and a fundamental element of the national development agenda is firmly in our constitution. This is why our bottom-up economic transformation agenda explicitly plugs into global environmental and climate change agenda through the bottom-up 3P agenda, which commits us to attend simultaneously to the people's well-being, the planet's ecological vibrancy, and the capacity of enterprises to generate profits sustainable. We take our commitments under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change very seriously. Therefore, we remain firmly on course to meet the pollution reduction targets under the Paris Agreement. We are also taking decisive steps in our shift to zero emissions. As pertains to the environment, climate action, and ecological respons responsible industrialization, Kenya is in it for Kenya, for Africa, and for the world. We are doing it for our citizens and also for humanity. For this reason, we have designed and designated a Ministry for Environment and Climate Change to understate the National Climate Action plan in order to facilitate the achievement of our national environmental, biodiversity, and climate change imperatives, including under our nationally determined contributions. We are committed to enhancing our climate action by adopting low carbon and efficient transportation systems through the application of innovation including clean, efficient, and sustainable energy technologies. The bottom-up agenda for economic transformation identifies the adoption of electric mobility or e-mobility as a priority intervention to achieve the win-win outcomes of reducing greenhouse gas emissions, providing cheaper transport, and leveraging our large local and regional motorcycle market to build an electric motor vehicle industry. Motorcycles comprise the fastest growing form of transport in many countries. This fact has serious implications for climate change and air quality. Our continent now faces a tremendous CO2 emissions challenge owing to its huge two-wheeler internal combustion engine powered fleet. In many African countries, the air has a, a, a particular percentage that is well above the WHO recommendations. Aging fleets and unsustainable technologies are to blame for this big hazard. Here in Kenya, Two and three wheeler vehicles comprise the largest share of our national fleet at 67%. Our cities and urban areas are in danger of turning into heavily polluted 
and unhealthy places, placing millions of enterprising people at great risk. It has been clear for some time now that something must be done about this. And today, we are doing it. I repeat, today, we are doing something about it. The adoption of electric mobility is a high priority intervention to address the challenges of pollution, adverse health effects, and fuel costs, which raise the cost of living. Successful transition of e-mobility requires a fundamental reconfiguration of our transportation system through electrification and the provision of every necessary service and infrastructure throughout the ecosystem. Fortunately, Kenya is well ahead in laying down the foundations of this shift. We are a global leader in the production of clean, green energy. Over 90% of the power in our national grid is generated from renewable sources, and there remains potential to produce much more in the future through wind, solar, and geothermal generation, taking our generation to 100% by 2030. In order to achieve this intended aim, transition to e-mobility therefore calls for intensive investment, which is best undertaken by the private sector. Accordingly, through the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, we have developed a compelling package of incentives to attract serious investors in e-mobility to stake their capital on opportunities in our green growth plan. The effort is bearing fruit. The commitment that I see here today speaks to the success of the uh, package of incentives that we have put together. The big debate that informed the finance bill that is now the Finance Act, among the packages in that bill, was a whole incentive package around e-mobility. We removed, we removed taxes on components that would help us put together motor vehicles that use um, uh, electricity. We also removed taxes on charging infrastructure. We also removed taxes on batteries and all components for purposes of e-mobility. This is among the package that we put in our finance bill, and I am very proud that the Parliament of Kenya passed it, and we are now rolling out the benefits of that bill. Let me say this. Because of the package we have put in place, the motor vehicle you see here, it's variable today in Kenya costs 200. The motorcycle here today in Kenya it costs anywhere between 275 and 300,000. But because of the actions we have undertaken, this motor vehicle is now going to sell. This motorcycle now is going to sell not for 270,000 but for 160,000. If you buy it cash, and I say this quite pointedly, I say this quite pointedly because this is a journey I have traveled. It's a journey I have traveled because I am probably the politician in Kenya who has had the largest number of Arambes to buy border borders for border border circles. I say that without any fear of any contradiction. That is number one. Number two, I also traverse this country 
to listen to what the people of Kenya wanted. Among us, the, spec the sector that spoke to us with clarity is the border border sector. The circles, <laughs> members, and the whole ecosystem around the border border mobility. And they told us three things. Number one, they told us a motorcycle that ordinarily costs 130,000 ends up costing them 300,000. And they explained to us that there were people in that space who are doing business and we respect tremendously what they have managed to assist us. Today we have close to 2 million motorcycles in Kenya. They are doing a good job and we want to thank those who came ahead of us. But increasingly it was becoming expensive, difficult. And that is why many people in the border-border sector ended up in CRBs and other places. 